Games Weasel. So your mum sloshed on the sherry, your dad's passed out from eating too many sprouts, and your dog's been sick because it choked on a turkey bone. Well, that's my Christmas anyway. If yours is the same and you want to wake everyone up with some games on the Wii on Christmas Day, here's some ideas for you. The first game you could try out is Rayman Raving Rabbids TV Party. Try saying that after a few sherries. It's the third game in the series and once again up to four players can take part in a variety of silly mini games and spoof TV shows, adverts and other stupid goings on. Now the good news is it's genuinely funny and silly and we'll have kids and adults laughing at the same thing for different reasons. Probably. There are also over 50 of those little mini games to play, and there's Wii Balance Board support, which, although novel, isn't as much fun as using the Wii remotes. As usual, it's great to try out with a family on Christmas Day, but it won't hold your attention for months to come. Nintendo's Wii Music looked promising when the Wii was launched, and now it's finally with us. The game lets you play a variety of instruments with the Wii Remote and Nunchuck, but unfortunately it's not as fun as Guitar Hero or Rock Band. Probably something that younger gamers would enjoy, and I'm talking about primary school here. The game features over 60 instruments including guitar, drums, flute, piano etc, and you hold and move the controllers as if you were playing the instruments. There are lessons and music for you to jam along with, and you can play together in a band. It doesn't sound too great though, it's all a bit ringtone-y, and you don't feel too cool playing those instruments either. Maybe stick this in another room for the kids to try out if you want to watch a Christmas horror movie in the lounge. While they're there, you may also want to sling them the new high school musical Sing It game and the senior year dance game too. Just make sure those doors are soundproofed. I'm sure they'll have fun while you spare yourself from catchy tunes that just won't leave your head. Finally, if you fancy a proper blast from the past, you could try your hand at Monopoly. No, seriously, at least no one will be able to cheat and maybe there'll be less arguments to ruin your day. There are a number of themed game boards to play on and there are modes in there which have a finite playtime. Good if you hate spending hours rolling dice. Of course, there's more to just going round the board. There are mini games to play against each other to see how the cash gets divvied up at the end. So there are some ideas for what you can all play together for Christmas on your Wii. As expected, most of them are quite kiddie, but there's fun to be had if you get into the Christmas spirit. Remember, if you do fancy getting hold of any of the games, then make sure you do it through us. Not only do you help keep these reviews free to watch, but we actively go out and find the best deals on the web for you. We've compiled some handy links at gamesweasel.com which will take you through to Amazon and buy, and that goes for all the other reviews from Gamesweasel too. And if you try before you buy, then we have a special offer from gamefly.com which gives you access to a massive library of video games for a 10 day trial period, all totally free. This will be a great way to get hold of the latest games that Santa didn't bring you and will keep you more than busy over the Christmas period. Once again, all the links are at gamesweasel.com, so get saving. Next week, if you're panicking about what to get your relatives, I've got some ideas for games you may wish to buy them for the Nintendo DS. Ho ho ho! been watching a review from Games Weasel. If you want to get the show each week, which includes video game reviews, news, previews, competitions and special features, then head over to gamesweasel.com for our video podcast, Games Weasel TV. Gamesweasel.com